Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm not really sure the best way to show this computer off. Uh, so, this is a Cisco. Spin it around here. Mm, yeah, you really can't <clears throat> make it out there. Oh, come on. Focus on that, please. There we go. So, this is a Cisco ASA 5580 series. Adaptive Security Appliance. So, I got this a long time ago. Uh, at least a year ago. And I haven't done anything with it. And today I was looking through it and uh, it kind of got my uh, energy up to do a quick video on it. So, I did want to show a little bit of the hardware of it today. I can get you guys back in a good view here. Actually, I can probably bring you a little closer. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> here is our layout. So in front, we have two fans. These things are massive and hot swappable. Uh, we have a diagnosis board or uh, something. I, I don't have the proper plug to plug it in because the power supplies are 15 amp uh, connectors and all I have is the 10, 10 amp plug. Anyways, uh, over here we have our SAS interface uh, connectors and back plane for two and a half inch drives. These are just placeholders. Uh, what else here? Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, we also have some more fans back here. So another two, uh, two another two sets of two and as you can see, we have duplicate power supplies also. There's one, and over there is the other. And inside, you can see some cards. So, inside there, we have two Intel uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet cards. They're not... Uh, Cat 6, they're, oh, the two-channel fiber cards. So there's two, two of those in there. Uh, some PCI uh, 100 card. It's a math card. And then we have a four-port gigabit card here. Uh, actually, I can show you because these are all easy access. Yes. Yay! I'm smart. <clears throat> so here is our gigabit uh, quad channel or quad port gigabit connector. PCIe by 4. There we go. Nice little shot of it. Uh, let me put it back in. Okay, so the next card, if the lights stay on. So here is one of the 10 gig cards, and there is the connector. This is a 10 gigabit Ethernet XFSR 2 port server adapter, uh, Intel. There you go. That's what I just read off there. Oh, come on, focus, you fuck. There you go. Uh, and this is an 8X card. 
and there's all the heat sinking. Look at all that. So there's two of these in it. And let's just set that down there. And this is the other card I was talking about. So it's standard uh, regular PCI, not express, but it is the extended version. So it is a hundred megahertz throughput instead of a 66 megahertz. And this is a uh, focus. Focus on that. Oh, come on. Fine. I will focus you myself. So there you go. There is what this card is. It's just an acceleration board for something. So it accelerates math is the best way I can put it. Okay, Whoop. go back. Um, so let me pull out the power supply. And I'll show you <clears throat> the power supply here. So here is the power supply. As you can see, it has the 15 amp IEC lead. And there is the power. So it's a 950 watt, sorry, 910 watt, and it puts out 74 amps on the 12 volt rail. And there's two of these for redundancy. Okay, so you can see there's no access to the processors. Um, there is one extra little thing up here that if you push that little button there, oh come on, it gives you access to this card bay that has a one gig uh, F, uh, F, CF card in it. Goes to like an IDE connector or SAS probably. And I would assume that con contains the operating system. Whew. Okay, humidity is going up. So, I'm sure you want to see the processors. So, let me go ahead and stick these cards back in 100%. And we will get to the processors. I don't want to just leave them hanging out in the breeze there. Okay. There we go. Oh, there is a uh, a SCSI card back here uh, that is allowing for eight two and a half inch drives. It's an LSI RAID card. Nothing special. Okay. So. There we go. Okay. So, to get the CPUs, we have to open the front. So you pull that little lever and you get a handle. Push down the handle and there we go. There is our CPU deck. So, you push both buttons and <clears throat> pull that out. This weighs between 11 to 18 kilograms or 25 to 40 pounds. Okay, so that is our CPU deck with RAM. Doesn't look like much anything. Push the button, pull up, and there you go. Pull you closer, and there you are. <clears throat> so it has room for two more uh, socket F AMD processors. These are dual core 95 watt 2.6 gigahertz AMD uh, Opteron 
processors and as you can see you have uh, what 4, 8, 16 open RAM slots for these two and 16 for these two or 8 for each we have uh, the power delivery for the CPUs on a riser card so if you change out the CPU you have to change this out uh, most likely to be able to deliver enough power so if you get like these are 95 watt if you get something that's under or over 95 you'd probably have to get a new one I would assume I'm not a hundred percent sure at all and I know there is a uh, one of you guys that watch these videos that could tell me more about this system than I could ever fathom. So, thank you. Uh, I looked up r slash home lab today, so I might be posting about this there. Anyways, so this behemoth is powered by four processors, or four cores. Um, it does have a high-speed interconnect on the back let me just turn it around here oh so pull you back zoom you in okay so as you can see our RAM this is a power connector to supply power to the board we have our uh, high-speed interconnect and you can see that it's missing half of it so I'm thinking that this motherboard uh, deck or sorry CPU deck can only house two uh, CPUs because it doesn't have a full connector and then we have our second power connector and you can see that the whole back is open to allow for the uh, two sets of fans that are in the back of the system to pull air across and then you have these two fans that are in the front that pull air across the front also but okay let's zoom you back out and let's slap this back in the server itself oh my god go all right so let's spin this around and move you again so you can see the back of this computer or server so we have one uh, power supply two USBs we come over we got some empty slots one thing I do like is it tells you what speed the express lanes are for each slot which is really nice anyways come over we got our quad channel Nick our two XFS XFSR uh, gigabit Ethernet or 10 gigabit Ethernet ports and we have our other power supply and we have a serial connector and two uh, management ports right here so I would assume these are like an IPMI and there is eh, where's the uh, <laughs> frame dumbass and there is our power supplies Man, that storm is something. Ouch. Okay. Zoom. Uh. Yep, you still can't see me. Hi. Uh, so. Woo. It's hot down here. So, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Um, I'm sure not many people have seen this firewall slash VPN slash... Uh, 
I don't know. I know it does all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've got the three switches right over here that get connected to um, to put out 30,000 yeah I think it was 30,000 connections that it can handle or 50,000 I don't remember which uh, but yeah so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and you will see me in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this interesting Friday video